A famous cryptographic system from World War II is the complex substitution cipher known as the German Enigma machine. You can see an example of the Enigma machine, which has several pieces. It has a keyboard, and messages were entered one letter at a time on a keyboard. It has rotors, in this case it's a three-rotor model, and the rotors were set at some initial position, so they're wheels that spin. There's a plug board that has some wires that were connected in various patterns to further scramble the message. And then there's a lamp board which displays illuminated lights with the output of the encryption process. So with an Enigma machine, the message was entered one letter at a time. And as a key was pressed, an electrical signal from that key would go through the three rotors and each time it went through a rotor, it would be scrambled from one position to another position based on the rotor design and the rotor orientation. It would go down to the plug board and then be fed back around to run through the rotors again in an opposite direction. At the end, it would then illuminate a light on the lamp board. After each key press, the rotors would spin using a different substitution for each letter. It turns out that while running the signal through the rotors twice intuitively scrambled it more, that resulted in a weakness in the machine because they had a system in which the letter that went in would always come out to be a different letter at the output and therefore slightly non-random because there's a bias away from having one letter come out to be itself. That was necessary for the electronic working of the machine, but it turned out to provide a wedge to break the encryption. Breaking the Enigma machine was done using electrical mechanical computers called bombs. Here are some photographs of the front and the back side of a recreated bomb at the museum at Bletchley Park. This is an operating machine, and when you watch it operate, what you see is each set of three rotors spins away until it finds what looks like a match to the message. If you've seen the movie The Imitation Game, this is the kind of machine that you saw in the movie.